Christmas. Hey, hey, it's Vinny for Power Twang. Hey, so today I just want to talk about um, tuning and a few tips uh, about tuning your guitar. Um, nowadays you have lots of um, um, references to help you tune your guitar. You got online tuners, you got all sorts of inexpensive uh, guitar tuners that you can use. So you have a lot of resources nowadays for, for tuning the guitar. So there's no reason not to be in tune. A um, couple of things, um, you have your standard, uh, like a pedal f uh, form uh, guitar tuner. You know, that, that, those ones work pretty good. The only thing is like if you have like the LED lights, um, sometimes if you're playing in the daylight on a, on a stage, um, sometimes it might get a little hard to see those LEDs in the, in the sunlight. So some people might prefer like the little needle, but I definitely prefer the LEDs myself. The other option is nowadays you have these like little tuners that uh, that just uh, attach to your headstock up here. Um, and um, I actually, at first I was kind of skeptical about these, but I gotta tell you, I really, really like these tuners nowadays. Um, one of the, I think, good things that they're, they're good for is like, ex especially like uh, if you're backstage, you're warming up and you're just getting ready to go on, um, it's always good to, you know, maybe just throw this on there and you don't, let's say you're backstage, you don't have your whole rig with you or anything, you're just kind of warming up. You can just throw this on your headstock you know, as you're, uh, as you're warming up, get your guitar tuned up so that when you go on stage, you don't have to worry about tuning up uh, while you're on stage. You can just go up and you're ready to go. So that's actually a good application for one of these. Um, the other, one of the uh, things that I, a couple of the, the pointers I would like to point out is uh, when you're tuning your guitar, it's always best to tune up to the note. So even if you're tuning and your note is sharp, instead of just tuning down to the A note, by tuning down, you really want, what you want to do is you want to lower the note past that and tune up to it. That's just always a good practice to do because the way these, uh, these tuning machines on your guitar work is, um, when you're tuning up to them, you're keeping pressure on that tuning peg the way it's supposed to be, and it'll, it'll work better. If you tune down to it, it'll work, but it'll, it'll be a lot easier for it to go out of tune. So you always just want to, uh, you always want to tune up to the note. Um, that's just always a good, um, a good practice and habit to get into. Um, the other tip that I'm gonna point out is, uh, you know, it's really good especially when you're performing live, and let's say if you're using the, uh, the pedal style tuners, is to uh, get a tuner that will allow you, when you step on that pedal, that it will mute, that, mute your signal. Nobody wants to hear you up on stage tuning your guitar. As much as you think people, <laughs> as much as you think that people want to hear you tuning your guitar, they do not want to hear you tuning your guitar. You don't want to be that guy up on stage. <laughs> You don't want to be that guy. Don't be that guy. So yeah, like I said, if you've got a, a pedal that will allow you to mute your mute your signal when you're tuning, um, you can easily in, be, in between songs to step on that pedal and tune your guitar, and no one's really going to be able to hear you, and it'll be not you know, be the least obtrusive. Um, also, something that I will do is like let's say if I'm getting toward the end of the song and I can tell that one of my strings is out of tune, what I'll do is uh, if it's, if one of the strings isn't critical for the next song, at least for the intro, I'll go ahead and I'll play that intro. And then as soon as the verse starts and the singer starts singing, then I'll, I'll step on my pedal, it'll mute, I can tune up real quick while, this, while the singer's singing, and then as soon as I'm tuned up, then I can come back, you know, the step, come back in and I'm ready to go and nobody in the audience has to worry about hearing me tuning the guitar and you can keep the set list going without really uh, holding everybody up while you tune. Uh, you, 
again, that's another important thing is you want to keep the flow of your set. You don't want to have to sit there and tune in between every song. And like I said, if you do, try to get through to the first verse and maybe then drop out if it's not critical that you play on that particular part, especially in country. It's pretty common for um, during different verses for different lead players to to play a role or to be doing the, the licks for that particular song. So let's say, for example, on, um, on, <clears throat> on a given country song, start, I'll play the intro and I can tell something's a little out of tune and I know I need to, to tune up. When we get to the first verse, let's say if the, uh, uh, the, key pl the keyboard player will be doing some of the fills during the song or the steel player will be doing it for the first verse, that gives me a perfect opportunity where I can just kill my volume, step on my, my uh, tuner pedal, tune up, and come back in when it's during the chorus. That way no one in the audience has to, has to really be punished by listening to you tune your guitar. But anyway, that's just a couple, uh, a couple of my tips for, for tuning up. Just remember, don't be that guy. Anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.